What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me. I'm greatly appreciative for all of the love you guys gave me. Now, for today's recipe, we're actually going to go ahead and carry on with our Mexican cuisine. For today's recipe, let's make you guys some cheesy uh, potato taquitos. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the food for you. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and get some oil and let it, warm, um, let it get warm in a pan. And now we're going to go ahead and add some onions to it. We're going to go ahead and saute the onion just a little bit. And as you can see, I have finally, finally, finally chopped my onions. And uh, there is a reason to it on why I finally chopped it. I will show you that when we get to that part. Now I'm just going to saute it just a little bit. We're not going to saute it too much. And after that, we're going to go ahead and add some finely chopped tomatoes to it. So we're going to go ahead and let it saute just for like 10 more seconds. And we're going to be going ahead and adding some tomatoes to it. Alright guys, so uh, it's been about 10 to 15 seconds and I have sauteed my onions just a little bit. Now at this time, I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes to it. And as you can see, I have finally chopped the tomatoes and also I have kept the membranes of the tomato intact as well. So I'm adding all the seeds and also adding, um, I'm also adding the tomato juice to it as well. Now the reason why we're going to do that, it's because we're going to go ahead and finely cook the tomatoes and we're going to go ahead and make a paste out of this. So now at this point, what we're going to do and we're not adding any water to it. We're just gonna add, let the tomato um, add the, um, the actual natural flavor and also the tomato juices to it as well. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to it, salt to taste. And again, I'm making food for about six to seven people. So I have larger quantity, use salt to your own taste, okay? Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add salt, give it a mix, and I'm going to let it cook on uh, high medium heat for about, I would say, no more than four to five minutes. Uh, the reason for that is because then at that time, our tomatoes and onions are going to be very smushy, and we're actually going to be able to go ahead and use a smasher to go ahead and smash it out. So let's go ahead and cover it up. I've given it a good mix. We're going to go ahead and cover it and then let it cook for about three to four minutes. All right, guys, so it's been about two to three minutes. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and remove my lid. I'm going to let all the water just fall in there. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good mix. As you can see, tomato has released a lot of its water, a lot of its juices. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and use a smasher. And I'm going to go ahead and make a fine paste out of this and just smash it all together. Alright guys, so as you can see, I have mashed everything together and made a uh, fine paste out of it. Um, now what we're going to do at this point is uh, we're... I have my gas on the low heat and we're going to go ahead and start adding the other ingredients to it. So at this point what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and start adding our boiled potatoes. I have used about two big boiled potatoes in here so I'm just going to go ahead and add them in there. And then yes I'm going to smash everything together again. <clears throat> And yes, that's my tummy over here. I'm already getting hungry. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add um, completely boiled potatoes. I'm adding about two big boiled potatoes in there. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and add a big chunk of uh, cheese, uh, Mexican cheese, about, let's just say about another 200 grams of Mexican cheese. Okay, 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and smash everything together again. Alright guys, so I've mashed my potatoes and cheese together. Now before I mix everything up together, what we're gonna do is I'm just adding a tiny bit of salt, just enough salt for the potatoes. Um, I did not add salt when I was boiling the potatoes, so just a tiny bit of salt just to compensate for potatoes. Now at the same time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, garlic powder. So just a little bit of garlic powder. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tablespoon of, um, of red chili powder. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix and then our filling is gonna be done and I'm gonna show you how to uh, uh, roll the taquitos together. So we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up now and we'll start rolling the taquitos. All right guys, so um, our filling is ready and what we're gonna do, uh, you want your filling to look pinkish like this. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, one tablespoon of filling, put it in the middle of a corn tortilla. You want to make sure you don't put a lot of filling in there because what it's gonna do, if you have too much filling in there, then it's gonna start spreading out. And once you put the filling in there, then you're just gonna go ahead and roll it into the rolls like this. And then once you roll one, then you're gonna have this open fill, um, open side that's gonna be there on the tortilla. So you're gonna go ahead and lay that down flat like that. And with that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a second tortilla, put about one spoon of filling in there. And when you, once you put one uh, spoon of filling in there, go ahead and roll it back like that. Make sure it's tight when you're rolling in. And once you get done rolling, you want to make sure that your um, your filling doesn't come out like uh, come out. So you want to make sure your filling stays in like that. If it's coming out too much, if it's oozing out, then when you're deep frying the the taquitos, they're actually gonna it's gonna start coming out. So once you do that, you're gonna turn this around like this. The open part that we have on the tortilla, you're gonna use that open part. Leave it right there. The open part from the second tortilla. You're just going to go ahead and take both of them, put them together like this. And once you have them together like that, take a toothpick. You're going to just simply go ahead and get them together like that. So when you're deep frying, it doesn't open up for you. Okay. So once you go ahead and do that, you're ready to deep fry the tortilla and uh, deep fry the taquitos. All right, guys. So for today's recipe, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a deep fryer. Um, you can just use the regular pan if you don't have a deep fryer available at home. But pretty much what you want to do is you want to go ahead and deep fry the oil at 400. So get it warmed at 400. And then um, on your deep fryer, what we're going to do, as you, as I showed you, that we're going to go ahead and roll the tortillas like this for taquitos. We're going to go ahead and add two taquitos at a time. And we're going to go ahead and let it deep fry. So we're going to let it deep fry for... Um, maximum maximum about one to two minutes um, and all you're gonna look for is you're gonna look for the uh, the taquitos to go ahead and turn uh, turn a little bit brownish yellow and then at that point your taquitos are gonna be ready okay so we're not gonna deep fry it for too long all right guys so this is how you want your taquitos to look like uh, I have a bunch of them ready right now I'm still making some more taquitos um, as I said, I have a bunch of people coming over, so I'm going to be cooking for about seven to eight people. But that's how you want your taquitos to look like. Um, you want to have enough fillings in there. So it's coming out just a little bit, but it's not oozing out. So that's how, uh, that's how you want to roll your taquitos. Make them crunchy. So it has a very good taste when taquito is crunchy. And that's how, <clears throat> that's how traditionally the taquitos are made. So... As you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. I do want to thank you for uh, everything that you guys do for me. All the likes, shares, and subscribe. So again, guys, the food is ready. Not waiting on you. 
Thank you so much. Until next time, take care.